What is going on YouTube? So we are back with a new video today. So guys, I'm gonna be realistic with you guys, man. I have really been grinding out, trying to do big stuff on the channel, swaps and such. And guys, I mean, I feel like I owe myself a little bit of a break. I have just been engine pulling this and swapping that, tuning this. I've just been doing so much big stuff, stuff that a lot of the ordinary people probably won't get to for some time in their life. And uh, I feel like it's really kind of disconnecting me from a lot of my audience because a lot of you guys are probably kind of younger and probably pretty broke, which I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, if you didn't know, I am factually broke like i stay freaking broke as hell these cars do not build themselves i know i don't have a crazy 1000 horsepower all-wheel drive candy painted out like bucket seats set up guys but you gotta understand everything is fully insured nothing here is just something that we're working on everything here is drivable and fully insured guys this takes a big but chunk out of my budget every month to keep everything going. But in my personal opinion, when I put a car together, I like to be able to choose when to drive it and when not to drive it. And honestly guys, because of that, it's a lot of money to try to keep all of this stuff. Like trap is fully insured. You can drive it, you can drive dead, of course. This is supposed to be my daily. And it just takes a lot of money, guys. So that's that's my main problem. A lot of channels, unless they're like huge, huge channels with like millions of subscribers, a lot of channels you see won't have this many projects. And that's simply because it just costs a fortune to keep all of this stuff on the road and keep everything maintained and drivable. So with that being said, I know a lot of y'all got these crazy pipe dreams that you want me to do, which I have no problem doing. If YouTube ever blows up to that point, guys, I promise you we're gonna do that stupid ass, like crazy bill stuff. We're gonna do it. I love it. I love watching it, but I'm also gonna stick to my roots, which is the, the normal driveway car guy experience, which anybody can do i like to try to keep it simple i like to try to explain things to you guys so that you can fully understand and uh hopefully go out and conquer something of this multitude on your own now with that being said in this video what i would like to do is two simple things i want to first of all get rid of this freaking toe heat that's ghetto as fuck under there so i want to get rid of that and secondly what I would like to do is get this valve cover off and paint that to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So those are two things that I'm going to try to go ahead and get done. I'm going to start with that tow hitch because I do have to cut it off and I know that's going to be a pain in the ass, but hopefully it's not too bad and we can get it from under there. So let's go ahead and get this rear jacked up some pause and uh, see what we're working with. See, that looks like it's bolted there, so I might can 
unbolt those two. Unbolt it, unbolt it, unbolt it. So looks like it might just be welded right here. So yeah, maybe it won't be too bad. See what size those bolts are. See if we can get them out and go from there. This set that I'm using, if you missed the video, I'll try to be sure to link it down below, but this set that I'm using came from Timu. And it's a half inch drive impact set. All right, so I found the three mountain points in here. So there's one, two, three. So gotta figure out what wrench fits that and uh, see if we can get these things off. Man, guys, it looks so much better. So much freaking better. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So, valve cover's done. <sighs> guys, that can of wrinkle black that I used, I had since when I did the turbo car like a year or two ago. So, one can will definitely do your valve cover and I think one can is about 10 bucks night and day difference night and day difference guys and this was really my first time getting the wrinkle to lay out like it did so as you can see it's got plenty of wrinkle there plenty of wrinkle and as for the spark plug wise if you're wondering why one seems like it's stretched to the max that's because it is these are F23 spark plug wires, but with the F22 distributor that we took off the old motor, one wire is stretched pretty much to its limits to reach around. So what I think we're gonna have to end up getting is F22 VTEC wires for like the 96. I think those are a bit longer and that'll uh, make it where it's got more slack to it which I will end up grabbing those because that's gonna really complete the look of the valve cover with some fresh wires on it. So definitely gonna do that, but for the time being, this thing runs and that's all I can hope for. I definitely need to get some Freon. So guys, before I pull this thing into the shop, I was trying to bleed off the excess air out of the coolant system just to see because it was cooling, but it wasn't like the minivan. I vacuumed out the minivan and then I refilled it with fresh Freon. So that thing blows freaking ice cold. And this thing works 
the AC compressor was kicking on and stuff, but it just wasn't getting that cold. Like you could drive for like 10 minutes and it would just be like cool, but it wouldn't be like, okay, it's working cold. Like it was just there. So I was trying to get all the air pockets out of the cooling system. I mean, out of the, the Freon and stuff, like where the high and low pressure sides are. And I realized there was no freaking Freon coming out. So I don't know how it had pressure, but it didn't have any freaking Freon really in it. So I, I bled everything I could out to try to get Freon and it never turned into Freon. So I, I don't know. I don't know how this thing was working, but it was basically like it was full of air. So, yeah, uh, not good, but we're gonna shoot for it, man. We're gonna hope that this system is still some good. Uh, what I wanna do is get probably two cans of Freon. Hopefully I can pick those up tomorrow. And I might just, just say fuck it, bite the bullet and go ahead and just, uh, completely vacuum this entire system out and then dump the Freon back with a little bit of oil to try to keep the system lubricated because I don't want to I don't, I don't want to cause any more damage to the system than that has already been done so yeah with that being said I think that's what we're going to do I'm just going to completely vacuum it I'll probably do that in a video on its own as well and hopefully we can get this AC blowing nice and freaking cold because one thing we know, we know it works. So we just got to maintain it. We just got to take care of the issues that we got. And we should have some icy cold AC, which this car desperately needs. So yeah, the valve cover's done. We're good up front. So here is that big ass rigged up tow hitch thing that was on the back. And you can see like this thing was cut and welded to work because this I, I I don't know maybe it's different but I feel like it should have been so these are original mountain points right here 214 bolts and this bar should run all the way across to the other side and bolt to the other 214 millimeter bolts on the pattern side which it didn't they had three bolts right here that went straight through the spare tire like area and that is what that was bolted to then up here as you can see they actually welded that little rear toe hitch thing and it be poking out on on our uh, hondas they welded this this piece to that so i had to cut the whole hitch piece off and uh yeah that's pretty much how we got it out you could tell it was rigged because look at these plates they just cut to go on the inside of the trunk, I guess to, to kind of provide more area for the boat to be grabbing onto. I don't know if I would have trusted it like that. I would prefer it be mounted like it's supposed to be, especially when you're towing like any type of trailer or anything, even though it's light duty. I mean, it's in the cord, you're not pulling like another car, then, but it's just, I don't know, just, I didn't, I don't like tow hitches really on my stuff especially when i cut the bumper so it had to go but anyway we got that off everything's looking up that thing right there is at least probably 50 pounds or so plus those three brackets so that was a good chunk of weight removed out the rear back here it's not a race car though but still nonetheless we got that done we also got the valve cover painted as you saw, that's looking beautiful. Whole engine bay looks a lot better with that done instead of that rinky dink looking chip paint one. So that's better. I still need to order a velocity stack for this baby. I do gotta go in the bumper here whenever I do pull the front bumper to uh, get this bottom portion of the intake out. Those things are really heavy too, like a big box that sits right up in the fender well there. Gonna remove that whole unit, don't need that anymore, and that'll allow more fresh air from outside to come up into the velocity stack, as well as dirt and trash, because I am gonna be running a velocity stack, but I don't give a shit, so yeah, that's that. Everything else is checking out. Really simple stuff, guys. I enjoyed doing it. Made the engine bay look a lot better. The back end is gonna look a lot better now. So guys, I do have a gallon of red paint that I was supposed to do 
the turbo car wheel, but I kind of bagged out. I don't know why I just, I don't know why I just don't want to do the turbo car right yet. Like I'm not too sure if I still want to do the red on it or what, but what I may do is because trap turned out pretty freaking good. I may use that gallon of red on this car and then I need to order a gallon of Summit Racing Clear to put over top of that single stage and hopefully that'll make it last better and uh, maybe it'll make it turn out a little bit cleaner because keep in mind guys, for the ones that haven't or did not watch the video of me painting trap, this, believe it or not, even though it's shiny, this was a matte finish paint job. I just put gloss clear on it and it turned out really freaking sweet. So that red is a gloss on its own and then we're putting gloss clear over it. It should look really freaking sweet. So I may just do that with this car and that way all only thing we really need to complete this paint job is the clear coat. We got plenty of primer, we got the red. So really, yeah, all we need is the clear coat to, to knock this car out. And when I do this car, I'm not gonna do it like really slow. I'm not, I'm not gonna take my time doing it. I'm just gonna have fun. We're gonna lay this paint out. I wanna give a shout out to Speedo Coat. If you don't watch his channel, please go check it out. That dude, watching him paint cars really puts my mind at ease because like dude just goes in, he's just like, this is a hundred dollar paint job. I'm gonna lay this shit out and I mean, he just does it and his work just always looks amazing. And it's just like, he doesn't take a ton of time doing it. He just sands them down. He'll body feel a little dense here and there. And he just, I mean, he knocks stuff out really quick. So that's what I kind of want to try to do with this car. I don't want to take forever painting it. I don't want to care too much about painting it. Who knows, hopefully it'll come out even better than Trap did. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I know it probably wasn't a lot going on, but it's just cool, man, to be able to vibe with you guys and chill and shop, get a little work done and make some progress on something that we have. Because right now, guys, if you don't know, everything in the yard is running and driving, which is freaking awesome. The turbo car is fighting me. We will do some more videos on that soon. The turbo car is still fighting me. Me and Jeff did the, the fuel filter in that last video you saw. And it did help a lot, but I do got one more issue that I gotta try to resolve. And the next video on that, hopefully we can dive into that and get that fixed. But once we get that fixed, that car should be a freaking ripper for sure. And I'm just glad guys, I'm just glad everything is up and going, man. Everything is running. So that being said guys, smack the like button for me. We're gonna continue doing little DIY stuff here and there and try to get some more work knocked out on all of these projects so if you're interested in watching make sure you subscribe if you're new make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it i will catch y'all next time remember respect our bills peace out